Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Stefan and this is the French Cooking Academy. Now, I've been receiving a lot of comments recently from people telling me you haven't been making many vegetarian dishes or side dishes. And I kind of realized, you know what, it's actually true. Guilty as charged. We haven't been concentrated on those lately. We've been doing a lot of quick recipe, bistro recipes, but what about the veggies and side dish? Because they do exist and they take an important part. When you want to make a recipe, what am I going to make as a side dish? Well, if you're vegetarian, what can I cook that's kind of a French dish? So, in the next uh, few episodes, I've decided I'm going to concentrate on doing just a few of these side dish series and vegetarian dishes to please everyone. And today we're going to start by a very simple one, which is the cauliflower cheesy gratin, which is basically cauliflower, which is pre-cooked in a salty water, covered with a nice cheesy bechamel and then bake in the oven. It makes for a very nice side dish, but it's also a very nice main dish if you're a vegetarian because with the creamy bechamel, it's kind of nice and filling, you know, and it's full of vitamin. It's a great little dish. Let, let's see how to make it. The cauliflower gratin or gratin de chou-fleur in French sounds very simple, but as simple as it looks, there's always a technical aspect to every single recipe. And today, uh, it's a good opportunity to recap actually in, uh, on something that is the white sauce and how to make a bechamel sauce. The bechamel sauce or white sauce is really something you need to master when you want to cook French food because it's used a lot and you really really have to memorize uh, the, the simple ingredients that you see here. This is what you need to make a bechamel sauce. Huh? You've got flour, plain flour, butter, milk, salt, pepper and these are the extra to give some taste to the sauce. Some uh, grated nutmeg, a bay leaf, an onion and it's pricked with uh, cloves actually. This is very important to know how to make the bechamel sauce. For the rest we're going to use just uh, cauliflowers. They've been washed huh, previously. I've got a video on this on how to cut them and wash them. And some cheese for the uh, extra, uh, you know, the topping that we're going to have that's nice and, and crunchy and, and this nice color. So let's jump in and see how to make first the bechamel sauce. Now most of the time, if you've been watching these videos, when I make a bechamel, when you make a quick bechamel, an all-purpose one, you start by making your roux, eh, which is hot, and then we pour over the cold milk straight on. And today we're going to do things differently. Actually, we're going to go the other way around. We're going to first start with the milk, we're going to warm up the milk, and then make a roux on the side, let it cool down, and use that. So the cold roux with the hot milk. And this is a comment that's been coming up a lot on, uh, you know, on the channel. Like, why do we have these two techniques? You know, what's the, what's the point anyway? You end up with the same sauce. Yeah, yes and no. And you will understand today why, actually, because today the bechamel sauce we have is a standard, this is the main sauce that you're going to have over the cauliflower. So basically what it means is that you need to have that bechamel really tasty. You need to add some flavoring and to get this flavoring going, the only way to do that, you need to let them infuse in your milk and you have to start to boil your milk with some things like that. Cloves, onion, bay leaves, nutmeg and let it sit there for quite some time to really get some flavors going. This is why sometimes you use, you know, a warm milk over a cold roux. But let's see that in practice. Now let's start. So, very gentle heat, so we're going to start on a real low heat to start with. And you're going to pour your milk in. Okay, and immediately the flavorings. A bit of salt, oh, not too much. White pepper, because it's a white sauce, not too much neither. Just a small bay leaf in there. And we're going to grate also some nutmeg. Finally, we're going to add this, which is half an onion pricked with some cloves in here. When all the ingredients are in, you're going to leave your milk and let it warm up slowly until it reaches the boil. And that's, uh, that's just going to give time for the ingredients to let their flavors diffuse uh, in the milk. Now that the milk is slowly warming up on the side, we can concentrate on making the roux, which is the mix of butter and flour. So you're going to start on a low heat and gently start to melt your butter. As soon as your butter is melted, you take all of the flour, put it in, and using a whisk, you're going to mix everything up. Make sure your heat is on very low. Now you will note that on the side I've started to heat up 
my water with a bit of salt for the cauliflower. Okay, so when you get this and that kind of paste, you're gonna gently cook it on a very low heat for let's say a minute to a minute and a half and you should not have any coloration. We're gonna keep that nice, uh, you know, whitish, yellowish color. So no brown in there. One minute later, this is done. I've cooked my roux, I'm gonna turn my heat off and I'm gonna leave this to cool down on the side of the stove. For the milk, make sure you keep an eye on it. If it boils, you turn the heat off as well and let it infuse for another five minutes. For the cauliflower, as soon as the water boils, you basically put them all in. Once the cauliflower are in, you're gonna leave them to cook and boil until they're ready. And that, to know that, you have to look at these end bits, you see? So when this is actually offers no resistance, when you put a knife into it, when they're nice and soft, it means that the cauliflower is ready. Although my roux is now a cold dish, now it has cooled down enough, we can now use it. My milk is also ready. I'm just gonna try it, actually taste, always taste now. Yes, that's what you want. You see, the milk has got that nice taste of onion, cloves, a bit of bay leaf in the background, beautiful. And this is what is gonna give the taste to your preparation. So you're gonna pass it through, sieve, pour everything over. Once the milk is in, take a whisk and you start to incorporate your roux slowly. And also, heat on, on low to medium, not too high. You don't want to burn anything. And we're gonna start to thicken that sauce slowly. Very quickly, the sauce will thicken and let's have a look a bit closer. Look at that. See how thick that is? It's thick, but still liquid again. Now, as you know, it's quite a lot of taste in there, but I like to add always a pinch of cayenne pepper, just for the zing. Once you've mixed the cayenne pepper in, your bechamel sauce is ready. You can now turn the heat off, and I think the cauliflower are just about done. I'm gonna put them for a sieve and rinse them with cold water to stop the cooking, and we're gonna prepare our dish. And now for the assembly, this is really the fun part. So we've got our bechamel ready. So it's up to you, you can start with the cauliflower. I like to put, you know, a little bit of bechamel at the bottom. I then add some cauliflowers. Once the cauliflower is on, a grind of salt and pepper. And I then add the rest of the bechamel sauce. Use your spoon to even out a little bit. And finally, the best part, the cheese. So with the cheese, you can virtually be as generous or greedy as you want. As you can see, I went for the real cheesy version and that this is now ready to be cooked. So you're gonna heat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius, which I think is about 356 Fahrenheit. And you're gonna cook this in the oven for 30 minutes or until the cheese is nice and crusty. And that's it, everyone. I've taken the gratin of cauliflower out of the oven. And you can see I had a try. Uh, just wanted to cut it to show you a little bit the inside, but basically, uh, that's it. On one side, you really got the crust of cheese. So it's really a cheesy crust, a cheesy bite you can get out of the dish. And as you can see, a piece of cauliflower and it's mixed well with the bechamel sauce. Very, very easy to eat. And that will make a perfect little side dish or main dish if you're a vegetarian and it's really highly recommended. But that's it for me, folks. I'll see you next time on my next video. As always, if you like the video, put it a thumbs up. Drop a comment, there's something new as well. I've started a new forum on Reddit, which is that big website for all discussion. If you want to post your own pictures of the dish, just go to reddit.com and look for the French Cooking Academy forum. And I'm looking for some moderators. If you're someone that knows about Reddit, give me a shout or message. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.